Hello friends. Hello friends. Today I would like to show you continuation of my citrus hybridizing experiment. Some years back I crossed the most common lemon sold in supermarkets called Meyer lemon with Buddha hand citrus. This special strange mutation of an ancient citrus called Citrus Medica. This mutation has no fruit in it. You see how the branches are drooping. Um, you see how the leaves have no point, kind of rounded leaves. If I could give you the smell, ah, it smells like perfume, but not citrusy perfume, but smell of its own. And the fruit is very strange. It has no fruit. It has only the peel that's divided into fingers. That's why it's called Buddha hand citrus or Buddha hand lemon. Every fruit has different number of fingers and sometimes little fingers inside like here and what other characteristics has no seeds it basically multiplies by branches bending downward touching the ground and rooting themselves into new bushes and that's how it travels if you allow it and what other characteristic it has is that the twigs are very easy to root by cutting and putting into water, sand, perlite or something. Um, and another characteristic is that the flowers have plenty, plenty pollen. So I took some years ago pollen out of the flower of Buddha hand and pollinated with it the Meyer lemon, hoping that, who knows, maybe I'll get the Buddha hand with seeds or Buddha hand with fruit inside or both, fruit and seeds. Well, that didn't quite happen. It inherited different characteristics of the Buddha hand citrus. It, um, it uh, got these drooping branches. You see here it's actually touching the ground ready to root. It got the roundish, not so pointy like usually in a case of citrus, uh, roundish leaves. It got the wonderful smell that is not citrusy, but kind of aroma. It got the ability to root easily from twigs. It had ability to, on some fruit, uh, turn the female part of flower into kind of pointed skin, which I showed in a previous video. But otherwise, it's a lemon. It has fruit, it has seeds, 
it tastes like Meyer lemon and so that is called in genetics uh, F1 generation where all the characteristics that are um, ruled by one gene only are transferred either from mother plant or from father plant whichever site is dominant in that gene and then I took the seeds from such element but ripe one and planted them in other words I took the seeds of a, this hybrid which is called F1 generation in um, Mendel's genetics Mendel was the Moravian monk who discovered two first basic rules of genetics and I this, this self-pollinated um, seeds I planted to create F2 generation uh, to say it very simply what's interesting about F2 generation the second generation of hybrid is that one quarter of a seedlings uh, would show the recessive gene and so I was wondering what will happen would I get fingers for instance or would the, the, such a fingers have fruit or seed or both that was kind of my primary wish well I planted the seeds bunch of them and um, they sprouted in four weeks and what happens is that this inbreeding of course has also degenerative uh, side effect so what happens is that uh, where do I have that part there it is uh, is that most of the seeds unfortunately showed that they are albino they have no chlorophyll they have no ability to create a photosynthesis the energy from sun and so in few weeks they will perish but here is one that's normal and here is one that's normal and here is one that's almost normal variegated so those I will nurture hoping to grow into plants then graft them to speed up the result and see what is the result but one thing I already see I'm getting tremendous amount of albinos so I would have to plant in the future all the seeds from this hybrid in order to hope that one quart would re exhibit some kind of characteristics that are interesting but recessive so they are not showing in the F1 generation in a primary hybrid um, of course because those fingers are not cause of uh, some kind of natural evolution but they're caused by genetic defect it's possible that I'm not gonna get any but I'll try okie dokie artichokey see you a while
crocodile, usually once a week I post something, usually Friday morning of my time. So, if you like this video and didn't subscribe yet, please do so. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.